come on back. Do you notice how my spot and my segment is right after uh, Wisconsin's Most Wanted? That's because I'm the most wanted. We go hand in hand. Okay, done, stop, listen. We have the beautiful chicken breast that has marinated and is ready to go. This is live TV, everybody. I haven't done this in advance. This is not some kind of a trick. Look at the color of the chicken that has changed. Why? Because of that acidity that is eating on the surface and penetrating within and the flavors are enhanced. So we have a pan at a medium heat that has been heating up. Again, heat up your pan, hot pan, cold oil, and your ingredient will never stick. We're going to drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and you will see a little bit of smoke very fast. Bring the chicken breast closest to you, lay it away from you. Cover immediately so the steam is used. Reduce, let this baby do its thing. Now bring the other pan over here. You should see the steam, you should smell the aroma, it's beautiful. And now, this one, we're gonna do the same thing. One thing that the Chinese do in wok cooking and stir frying, they always, if you look at the master wok chef, adds his ingredients into the wok wet, dry, no oil whatsoever, and takes a ladle and drizzles a little bit of oil on the surrounding wall of the wok and it just drapes the ingredients. We're gonna do the same thing. So, it's time to do some stir fry. It's gonna go in there, notice, there's nothing in there, a little bit of zucchini, a sprinkle of salt, the salt is gonna pull out the water content of the ingredient. And now watch this. Olive oil in hand, drizzle. Hot pan, cold oil. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna come back here, we, if you notice in my marinade, I use some mint and tarragon. Why not enhance the vegetables with those same ingredients? So as you're taking this beautiful composed uh, bite, it has all of those flavors in it. So a nice chiffonade, that means a very fine shred of the mint and the tarragon. And we're gonna go in here, and this is only going to be uh, cooking for a few minutes, no more. We want the crunch, we want the flavor, but at the same time, most importantly, that texture difference. Usually, we use soy sauce in a stir fry, if it's coming from the Orient and the accents are supposed to be Orient. I say no, no, we're gonna use some white wine here. And as it's caramelizing, I'm gonna use the white wine, or the edges of the bell peppers are becoming beautiful and caramelized and brown. And the chicken is doing this. I amaze myself constantly. Seriously, this is just not fair. White wine, a few sprinkles. This is nearly done. Let's see how the chicken is doing, everybody. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Now, if all of you at home put your third finger and your thumb together, a round circle, and touch this muscle, that's the texture of the chicken that we need. So it's still rare. Now flip it, look at that, look what happened. Right, a little bit of that beautiful marinade back on it on this side now, and let it sit. And the walnuts are gonna get moist, they're gonna get nice and luscious. And we have the stir fry rice that is also done here with the ends of the bell peppers that I added together. And the rice, I'm using some jasmine rice. I love that beautiful flavor and the aroma of the jasmine blossoms that have been dried with the rice and have absorbed it. Fresh Italian parsley, last but not least. So we got what, tarragon, mint, and parsley. You don't want these, you use your herbs and make them yours. When we come back,